And welcome back. This is Kotel for another War Rights event. We have a historical rules event for this Sunday. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. And I am joined by a guest from the 13 Georgia. How you doing, Mr. Matt? I'm doing good. Thank you, Kotel, for having me. Uh, anytime. I, I'm glad I got another 13 Georgia. I've had a lot of Georgia guys on. I've had a, a good amount of Fort Georgia. I think this is the first time I've had one of the 13th on, though. So um, if, you, if you don't mind, just giving a little intro to the unit, you know, what you guys are about. Um, you know, what did you play? And, um, you know, okay. what, what kind of style you got? Yeah, so we're uh, a little bit uh, relaxed. Uh, we have different uh, abilities to... Uh, join us you can become a reserve guard which basically means that you play as you want and as you can so if work or school comes in the way it's not a big deal you don't have to have any recruit uh, uh uh any uh what am i trying to say uh, any, like, uh, uh, quotas or quotas yeah you don't have to do anything like that um uh or you can go up and, and go through the ranks, and then there are some quotas that you kind of have to meet, depending on what it is. But we're pretty laid back. We play all sorts of games. We don't just play War Rights. But uh, War Rights, of course, is our, our bread and butter. We love love War Rights, have a great time. Uh, we play, uh, obviously, HRE. We play uh, uh, UEC with 8th Florida. We're usually always in line with them. And then we play... Uh, Right now we've got a Saturday night event. Uh, we're not sure where we're going yet. Uh, right now we're gonna, we'll see what happens here. So kind of feeling it uh, out, see what works. Best feeling for it you. out. That's right. Yep, that's for our unit. So, yep, come join us if you want. Uh, it's a great time. Uh, a lot of chill people. So. Oh yeah, and uh, link is in the description for the 13 Georgia. Um, if you are interested in uh, signing up with them. Now we have a hatches attack here for this map 318 on the server pop 161 for the CSA versus 157 for the Union. I'll kind of just go down the list here since we're almost live. The Union team we got NYV under Dar for the six, and then 88th is under Southern. We've got LFL under Hookah, Fourth New Jersey under Papa Vibes. Then we got SB under Da Point. A lot of units in here. And then we got HL under Gene, 2 USC under Eddie, CQB under Jam, HD under Big. I think there's a lot of HD guys in there. Oh, 7th Cavs in here too under Raider, I think. And they're not making this easy for me today, brother. <laughs> Let's see. And then on the CSA side, we got Owens leading the 4th Georgia, Kennedy leading the 20th. Um... And we've got Rolo leading the 13th, DB under Ilga. 11th MS under Pistol Pete. EB under Kai. ANV under Killer and Gamebot. And TKO under Society. And if I missed anyone, I do apologize. But uh, we got Mr. Rolo leading the uh, 13th Georgia. What kind of style um, does Rolo like to play on, the, on a map like this for Hatch's Attack? Uh, so he would, yeah, exactly where he's at. He loves to hold this, uh, it, it, actually, he, he really likes either side, but he really likes to hold here on the right and then hold the point with all cost. He'll try to go to these rocks probably and, uh, try to hold that if, uh, things get hairy, but, uh, he's in a good spot. Uh, can shoot down some Yankees as they come up and it looks like, uh, ANV's on the right. Huh? No, fourth Georgia and 20th watching our right. So, uh, this ought to be interesting. We got the Georgia Brigade, and looks like a full Union push here against the uh, Georgia boys here. And of course, in this event, we have no bayonets and no sprinting until the 30-minute mark. How do you think that'll change up the strategy at all for the Union team? I don't know if it really will. They'll, they'll shoot out in the background here. Man, I'm surprised they're not. Is there anybody on the left? I'm not Nobody's seeing. On, so I'm yeah. seeing nothing on the left. I'm seeing yeah, everything they're on all this going uh, CSA right. See right. Yeah, that's that's an interesting push. Usually you have like one or two that go to the uh, uh, CSA left and uh, try to do some things. But... See how this works. Yeah, it looks like they've already knocked back one of the Georgia units, and this is a very concentrated push here. Five by five from the right. 
Looks like their team, George, is squaring off against the NYV here, specifically the eighth with the Sharps. It looks like he's pulling back actually a little bit. Um, do you think Rolo's trying to just uh, buy some time? Or what do you think his uh, yeah, probably star process is? Just conserve the tickets a little bit. So conserve that tickets, yeah. Yep, that's a good idea. I'd recommend everybody full back. No reason to burn tickets. Burn that time. Yep, it's at 39 minutes, so we got a lot left in the match here. And the Union appears pretty uh, deliberate here in this pacing. Looks like we I think they need to send a runner to the left and say, hey, we need a, another unit to the right. Yeah, oh, I, it's 2020, right? <laughs> yeah, it's tough. I mean, it's a lot easier for us to see than for them to see, you know. Yep. <laughs> Looks like we got a pretty big push here. NYV going into the center. And then we've got the uh, UEC contingent here. Oh, God, I don't know. It's a lot of units over here. Do you think the CSA should hang back a little bit or try to fight for this corner? I think uh, if they get pushed too much, I would say pull back. But, well, it's working, so. They're lighting up HL. Rest in peace, guys. Uh, they're hitting them pretty hard, Sorry. yeah. Oh, Drellis, run, Drellis, run. <laughs> oh, get out of there. Oh, looks like more CSA is starting to flow up there here now. They can hit him in a really good uh, pincer maneuver here if they, they go up in this corner here. They could. Um, in fact, looking over there now, it looks like there's yep. some maneuvering possibly with that thought process. I'll have to keep looks an like eye Andy. on that. And he does like to flank around. And Union has no clue. Nope. In fact, here it is. It's crashing in now. Hitting the side of this SB unit. That, uh, that's a beautiful I mean, maneuver. That's, uh, wow. That's a direct flanking attack. And they haven't even turned to deal with it yet. And in fact, who's this maneuvering? Killer is going to go even deeper in. Moving behind the Union line here. And I don't think they see that either. All right, gentlemen, form it on that line. Independent Get on the line, in Andrew. Get on the line. Straight in front. Shoot him in the back. They aren't even looking in this direction. No. What Killer just said. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're not even looking. He's just... As to use his line, and he knows. <laughs> they know. Like I said, they love their back shots. Believe that to open up to interpretation. <laughs> Follow me. Game by pressing up here as well. What do you think about these uh, maneuvers here by this A and V? Well, it's working. Uh, I, I I like to stay a little bit more uh, conservative, but uh, I mean, if it's working, don't change it. Looks like they're charging into the NYV right now. NYV's bonk, bonk. falling back. Yeah, they're bonking, yeah. <laughs> And that will give them the rocks. Yep. Looking at the tickets, looks like Union's falling a little bit behind right now. So what do you think now for the Union? Do you, uh, would you say try to maintain this frontier, or do you think pull back and, and maybe look at a different angle? I would say those people from coming from spawn need to start flanking them on top of it, go through corn do something on the right uh, on union right and try to mess around because that's uh, nobody's paying attention to that right now so that's what i do no i think you're right i think to kind of do what the amv just did to you kind of thing yep exactly Now, with that same token, do you think the uh, CSA should pull back now, or do you think they should maintain these forward positions here, like the A and B is? Mm, let me look here. Well, you got two units. Tickets aren't bleeding too much, so I guess for now, they will. I mean, if you're going to run, you're going to get shot in the back as you move. So. 
but you know hindsight again you see you see what i just said they're coming through that corn so yeah that's uh, and killer saw it he's pulling back so. yeah Yep. It's like who's coming up on him. Looks like the 27 VA under destroyer here is moving up on him. That's right. No sprinting. We haven't invented it yet. No, uh, you know you gotta warm up. You don't want to pull a hammy or something, man. That's you know? right. That's right. You can't go straight into a sprint workout, you know. Fire! <laughs> 11 F MS is moving up here. I don't know if I like being in the middle of the field and, and you know, you're kind of going to get mowed down here, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, they're maybe. thick long. They are, they are very big. I wouldn't stay here for too long if I was them. But, uh, so they going to attract a lot of attention. Yep. Yeah, it's the volley. volley. Yeah, nice Did volley. Fall back. Yeah, a few. Not too many. You know, good couple. Nice. So it looks like we got DB, TKO, and 13 Georgia here in the center of the field. What do you think about the positioning for these guys here for the CSA on these center rocks here? Well, they're in a great position right now. They got cover, and they're. Uh, looks like there's a lot of dead Yankees, so. Hold what you got, working all right. Looks like 13's not taking cash. Oh, they're starting to take cash at least. Uh, yeah. Just one or two, so. It's not too bad. And for now, if it works. Enemy moving direct south. It does look like the Union's starting to pull off a little bit, though. At least some of them. Onto the far side of the CSA left. We'll have to keep an eye on that. So like killers already noticed and making sure that uh, corn is going to be secure here. I will say the Union is really not spreading the field though on this map. What do you what do you think about the, kind of this concentration for the Union force well, here? Like I said, I mean, if it didn't work, they should have uh, probably should have done some more flanking maneuvers, gotten a couple more people. We could have done some stuff, but uh, I think that uh, that uh, is closed unless they want to go far, far. TSA left and hit by the house and go around. But, uh, that's going to take time. Yeah, looks like HL ran into A and V here and it's hit him pretty hard. Two USC oh, moving did. up now. Looks like they might get wiped. Well done. That was good. Yeah, I got Gamebot good still move. maneuvering though. Let's, let's see if he can uh, avenge his uh, cousins. Whatever the relation is between <laughs> Alan and the rest of the A and B. Oh, I don't think uh, Ninth Corps and HL notice. Yeah, and somebody killed Eddie. <laughs> they got Eddie. Oh no! <laughs> it looks the like most famous person in war rides. <laughs> oh, one of them, absolutely. <laughs> It looks like about a mutual wipe from what I can see here. Yep. And Union will go down to engage here at 31 minutes. Catching up a little bit on tickets, though. They are. Uh, it's like ANV and uh, 11th are getting strong again, though, so. <laughs> yeah, we're coming up on the 30 minute mark here with the sprinting and bayonets. Um, how do you think that'll. Uh, you think the Union's waiting on that to change up the strategy, or...? I bet you so, yep. Yep, as soon as they get Bayos, I bet you they're going to be a lot more aggressive. And I would say CSA needs to be kind of pulling back, pulling back to the rocks. And it looks like they're starting to pull back, at least these guys in the corner are right now. And it looks like Georgians as well are uh, pulling up, getting ready. Still got the Georgia line there. Got to figure out what the combo is. 20th, 4th, and 13th. Uh, so we got the 37th Brigade here. Is that what we are? Ah, uh, Peach Brigade. No. <laughs> Peach Corps. Yeah. It's funny. I know you guys aren't any, like, organization, but I, no. I often see, like, the Georgia guys. Around. I, I, what was it? Uh, was it Saturday? 
Florida is what they call uh, 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 it. Florida. Florida. Yeah, it's yes. Florida and uh, it's Florida and you guys. Yeah, we call each other Florida. Nice, nice. Under uh, old Danny, Daddy Fritz, as we call him. After you reload, just to the right boys. All right, fourth this battle line. I do have to mention we got Perkington as well in the line, and uh, I believe one other from uh, Eighth Florida. They come and uh, play with us, as they don't usually have an event today. So, oh, that's nice. Can just give them hey, if you got people that want to come play, come play type of thing. Yep, exactly. Oh, wait a second. We got a bit of a move here. LFL coming up. Uh, Ooh. In the center here a little bit. West, west, northwest, dans les rochers. Oblique à gauche. Still shooting it out. No, I mean, we're at 28 40. CSA still at battle ready. That's not bad. Ooh, Elfell just got. Ooh, hit hard. Yeah, who is this? 11th MS? Jesus Christ, they laid them out. One thing, I think uh, the right side kind of needs to fold back here. I don't think Rolo sees it, but uh, yeah, probably needs to start pulling back a little bit. Yeah, it looks like the George of the 40th, the 40th, the 4th and 20th are moving back a little bit now too. But we do have on the far right now, we got HL attempting that attack on this far right side for the Union. Far left, but we got uh, Gamebot opposing him right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Charge, 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 yeah. It is, indeed. And it looks like they've won that initial fight. So what do you think HL should do now? Should they cut into the left or should they go into the woods and try to cut off uh, from Maine? Well, you got a lot of time. I'd recommend getting in that woods, getting in the back and start uh, shooting them in the back. Make them confused, wondering what's going on. Why is there? How many units are in your back? You don't know. I mean, at least you got one unit in the back doing shenanigans. So. Yep, shenanigans are always fun. Oh, looks like Eddie and uh, looks like we got two USC and Ninth Corps are with them as well. NHD. Hey, we're gonna take that rock in the. In the That's a lot of people here. Seventh Cav. Okay, I thought it was just HL. It looks like it's a mix here. Uh, that's uh, that's fine. It looks like HL up and over. Let's see what they do here. I wouldn't recommend shooting. I'd recommend being quiet. Go sneak around. Be that sneaky snake. Yeah, I think you, I think you had the right idea about getting into the woods and just causing chaos in the rear. Yeah. See, MS. Yeah, switching back to the other side. Looks like left MS has been pushed back. So yeah, it looks like now the CSA has given up a little bit of ground here, and it's kind of on the other side of the road. They do have some troops out here in the corn. And tickets are uh, going towards Union, starting to get a little bit more balance. Yep. Oh well, here comes A and V coming through the corner, going to try to knock out HD here on the uh, on the other side again. Oh, and they know they saw it. A and V knows. This is their favorite side. They do they do a great job over here. Now it looks like the other part of them. Gamebot's coming back right down again. That bush left of that big rock. Left of the big rock in that bush. Stalling tactic. Oh. Um, uh, how does that? Direct northeast, basically. Oh. But LMS MS doesn't know anything about that uh, side. Again, runners cover. always stress this. Right. Run somebody over there and be like, hey, just want to let you know, watch behind you, we're taking care of it for now. You know, something like that. Runners are your friends. And, oh, wait a second here, what's going on over here? Looks like Pistol Pete is coming down here along with Killer. Oh, yeah, they saw it. Hey boys, get out of here. Get out of here. Follow me. And Gene is calling for a retreat. We're going to have to abandon them. I'm sorry. And Gene is going to abandon his allies. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. You heard him say it. We're going to have to leave him. Wow. That would, uh, well. Better get the flag out, though, you know. One, John, run. Oh. Run, flag, run. 
He bravely ran oh, away, Sir Robert. <laughs> yep. There goes Cheat. So that, uh, actually, that kind of, you know, we were talking about the tickets earlier. Now it looks like that uh, counterattack yeah. by the CSA really evened it up for them. Let's see yep. what we got back on the other side. That's why I always like having Eagle. Also, uh, by the way, Eagle is also streaming. Check out uh, BLN for another perspective on the fight. But we got a major attack here by LFL and English and French Alliance. What is this happening on the left? All I know is that everybody needs to pull back, get on that rocks. DB's right there. Maybe send a runner. Get, oh, 11th MS already knows they're coming up. So. Yeah, it looks like the uh, Union has punched into the woods here on this other side now, though. And Potato knows he's pulling us back. Good job, Potato. Oh, here comes 11th MS, though. West, 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 it's like uh, that. Oh, Canada came in as well with the 20th. Hey, fall back, fall back, hold here. So, what do you oh, think? They didn't notice. Do you think the CSA <laughs> should go for a total wipe here or be a little conservative? Well, I would say conservative, but uh, it's working. So, again. <laughs> Well, it could be working, but is it worth the ticket? Uh, Ballast, that's the question. No, never mind. I guess they did get wiped. Uh, no, I, I would recommend pulling back, like I said. Pull back to the box. Pull back to the forest. Uh, well, I don't know if they need to go that far. It looks like uh, the left side of uh, CSA is doing all right. But uh, everybody on the right side needs to pull back. Old, consolidate tickets. Hug those rocks for dear life. Yo, six, yo, six, hold on, six. Break off, break off to the south with me. Break off to the south, double play. Six, you look to south. south. We still got friendly south. We still got friendly south. Well, it looks like Dar is going to take the six New York to guard the left now. This is a great maneuver. That's uh, actually something I was thinking about right now. Is like if uh, Union moved a little bit to their left, they got some good shots. Oh, but someone's well. coming up to meet him. Here comes Owens. Fourth, yeah. Oh, independent fire. Commence firing. If 11 M MS comes up, they're going to wipe him out real quick. I don't even know if they need him, but... Uh, fourth might be able to do it by themselves, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah, 11th is already dealing in the middle. Uh, it's a devastating blow. Oh, oh wow, yeah. Big charge there. Oh, Rolo in there as well. Yep. That uh, that was a great maneuver. Yep, and now the whole Union team over there has fallen back a bit. See, oh, we do have a play in the center by the Union. What do you think about this move here by the by the Union here into this corner? Course. You got HL and HD together, and 7th Cav. And V and TKO. Well, I'm sure you're going to have some people support them. Oh, and like they're charging in, it looks like. Huh? Charge, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. One thing that's great about CSA, they know how to charge. They do. Uh, I mean, Union, they make great lines. They shoot well. They're pristine in their... Uh, their shots, but uh, once it comes to charging, CSA is the uh, winner. Yeah. I do wonder, though. I mean, again, I'm looking at the tickets here. You know, they were ahead. Now, you know, it's, uh, it's getting closer again. I guess the question is, are you trying to wipe them to buy time? Or, you know, what, what, what are you trying to do, I guess? Right. That's <laughs> Oh, Hook is coming back up with that point. <laughs> they face off back. against uh, Rolo. All right, let's get the fuck out of here, gentlemen. And Rolo says, get the fuck out of here. Good call. <laughs> We've only got about 10, 13 guys. We need to pull back. Yep. Great call by Rolo. Hey, 
You're full kitted. Let's zoom out here, see what we see. Looks like, um. Oh no, we do have something of a flanking force coming out here. It's the uh, Southern from the 88th here, is kind of going through the corn now. Oh. Kind of shallow, though. I wonder if he's going to try to pull left or pull right. I bet she's going to go right to that nipple in the corner. Oh, kind of just go direct center and, and hit him from yeah. there. See if Levith MS sees it. Yeah, so has got a great opportunity to flank him. Unfortunately, he doesn't really have great visibility with the corn. It's tough to tell. Oh, Southern, you have great shots, man, and you're sitting there. And he's got this bush in front of him. He might not see it. He does not see it. Of course, corn. Corn glitch is not a thing anymore. <laughs> oh, man, he's got their backs right now. And they still don't see it. Um, Not seeing many kills, though. There it goes. There's a couple kills. Uh, well, that mess just moved down. Oh, wait a second, though. Who's coming up behind him? Oh, here comes Killer. I don't agree how uh, CSA is being so aggressive. Uh, I, I think it's, I mean, I, th I bet it feels good, but I, again, I'm, I'm, the tickets is my concern. Yeah, yeah we're right there. You're like, oh, we're winning we all are burning. Yeah, you know, like, we're winning these engagements. I'm like, yeah, you are, but not, not, not well enough to, you know, warrant the loss. Yeah, it seems like the t ticket imbalance is uh, going towards... Union every time we do that, so. Yeah, like this 11th MS here, I, I imagine this is probably going to put him into taking losses, I think. We'll see. Yep, there it is. Now, 17 minutes left on hatches with taking losses on both teams. Slight advantage. How do you think this uh, map is shaping up here? Well, we're very close. It's, anybody can win this one. If you want to respawn, I'll grab it. That's my flag. It is starting to drain again to, towards uh, CSA, so we'll see what happens. A game about trying to chase off poor uh, Victor here, who again, give him a... Uh, is that Victor? No, it's uh, Papa Vibes, okay. Unless Papa Vibes is another name for Victor, I don't know. And we got Jean in the middle here. He's coming in hot. Oh, no, it's hit not point. Okay, yeah. yeah, keep going, boys. SP as well. Snapperkins gets destroyed. <laughs> or snap. Oh, he's, you know, already got, he tries. <laughs> got TKO there, holding that corner. He's doing pretty good. So they have, did they did do a decent amount of ticket damage to the Union there, I just... I don't know. Like, what do you what do you think the strategy should be right now? Do you think they should try to run down the clock, or do you think they try to get him into final push? I would run down the clock. I mean, we got plenty of time. We got 15 minutes. Union can do a lot of things. Um, again, I would recommend trying to outflank uh, A and V. Go around to the right here. Yeah, we, or, only, we only saw it really that one time. Really. Yeah. They need to do that again, and they need to do it quicker. I mean, I think that was the biggest thing. They held for a bit, and V noticed, and uh, it was uh, the end. So. Oh, A and V's going to try another flank now, speaking of. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. A and v knows. Apparently, they know. A and V knows. Up and over, A and V. Get into them. I don't think that's going to work this time, though. Looks like uh, Dar is bringing down the NYV on their heads. He got a big group. Oh, but here comes Gamebot too, though. I can't see. I cannot see. But HD's also uh, coming around flanking. Yeah, I don't know about these knife fights in the corn here for the CSA. No. I'm just getting nervous about these. 
No reason for it. Make them come up to the corn and shoot them out. Yeah, I, I, can, I, I agree. I mean, they can they can pay big dividends, but the risk is so high. But again, we're up top. They we can see it. They can't see. This. Oh, absolutely. There's one yeah. tick left of east if you hop up on a rock. Yeah, roll back on his rocks, hanging out. Surprised I don't have Eagle perched on some rock. <laughs> uh, is he not? Let's see, where's he? Uh, oh, there he is. He's on a rock. He's, he's, he's you know, he's. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's just not standing on it. He's kneeling on it, though. Good, good. Oh, 11 MS making a push. Yeah, very aggressive play here by the CSA team. We'll, we'll see if this works. I'm, mm, it's going to be close. They are... Look at the ticket drain, though. It's uh, it's going back to CSA again. You know, as much as I put uh, credit for the charges, I think uh, they're out shooting them is really what's happening right now. Uh, no, I, I'd be honest with you, I think the CSA sh shooting is getting more tickets per pound yep. than the charges are. Yep, I'd agree. Oh, oh Roll is getting aggressive here. I don't. I don't. He doesn't see. There's three units here. Yeah, Dar's moving up on his right now. Oh, Dar's it lining up against him. Uh oh, nice volley. Chris volley. Looks like he's gonna get out of there. Gonna move yeah, behind DB. Back here, guys. Welcome, guys. I'd like to do a shout out. Uh, my sergeant major, Ian, he's a great guy. He does a great job. Even everybody uh, in line. Uh, he's got a loud voice and everybody knows him, so. Uh, yeah, I appreciate him on the field. <laughs> having a solid NCO like that it makes a huge difference. Lets you focus on other stuff yes. versus trying to maintain control. They're more than uh, amassing. They probably need to pull back. <laughs> oh yeah, actually, uh, are they moving up? Yep, looks like it. We got uh, NYV. We got TQB. I don't think 80th notices yet, but they need to push. I mean, be aggressive. You got 11 minutes. You got to. You got to push. You got to take it. You got Fort George are trying to hold their battle line here. Were they on the right? Far right, yep. They got, oh, got 20th as well. Yeah, they got like two battle lines here. Here comes Canada, come to aid them. A very nice hold here by your uh, Georgia cousins here. Oh, yeah. Give him hell, 20th and 4th. Reform, don't advance, reform. Didn't lose too many tickets either in holding it. Oh, but wait a second, we got to move in the center here too. It's like LFL and SB, possibly. You got 11 MS pulling back. Good call on them. Yep, Pistol Pete, he knows he's doing good. Yeah. 10 minutes, 45 remaining. We are at breaking for the Union. Oh, wow, we got a knife fight here I missed here in the center. Oh, A and B again. Killer attacking the LFL here. Oh no. And looks like he got a wipe on him. Thank you. That's surprising. Famas is uh he's a great leader. Yeah, I think it's great uh, group. I think it's Hookah leading them today, but yeah. Oh, is it Hookah? Okay. Yeah. I, d I don't know much about Hookah's tactics. Ah, oh, very similar to Famas. Not not a huge not a difference to be honest. Uh, okay. 
They function very similarly. They're one of those units where some units are very different depending on who's leading them. I, I Rarely do I see like, oh, okay, they're doing something radically different from what I usually see them doing. CSA has this really significant flank force here on this corn. What do you, what do you, what do you think about this uh, positioning here for the CSA team right now? I... Again, it's working. <laughs> don't don't mm -hmm. knock it if it's working. But uh, it's uh, more forward than I would be. Yeah, I'm just nervous about... Uh, yeah, getting straight, straight into the breaking. You got yeah, eight minutes, you got yeah. time. Yeah, you got time. But I, I mean, my biggest concern is, you know, okay, you get put into breaking here. And yeah. the Union element that's over here on the left charges in, can you make it from this corn position back up to the point in time? Exactly. Well, to be honest, all everybody is uh, in spawn. You got one, two, three, four, five stars in the spawn for Union. So it's, uh, it's going to be a minute for everybody. They don't have their full force. And CSA does, so. That's true. Oh, but wait a second, even without that, we got a bit of an attack developing here. Looks like HL, HD, NYV charging in. Yep, Gets they're that. headed in. Oh, here comes Rolo to try to flank him, it looks. I hear Odin, that means Ninth Corps there. I, the f Beach Brigade right here, holding, hopefully. They are on our east, we should pull back. We are pincered. Or, ah, yes, also, also good. That's where you in charge, bro. Yep. Just tomorrow. Now we yep. got 11 MS charging Shem. forward. Yep. 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 Shem was saying we need to fall back, and I would disagree because 11 MS came in. Rolo knows. Okay, stay, 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 he did a good job. Yep. They took care of the 88th there in a very good charge. Um, they got the field once more. That was amazing. That was uh, that was a great, great hold. We still have it. We still have it. Yes, we one of the biggest things about this is just awareness. What's going around around you? Who's in trouble? What do you see? That needs to be you as an officer. You need to be looking around. Hey, th this this unit's probably going to get wiped. What does it look like, and what can I do to uh, fix it? That should be what you should do. Help yeah. you, help your friendlies out. Absolutely. The old adage of officers look out, NCOs look down, or NCOs exactly. look in. You say. Yeah. And again, stress it enough. Thank God I got a good Hensio unit. Buck and ball, get your bayonets. Buck and balls, and get your bayonets. They are my bread and butter. Right yeah. Backbone of the army, as they say. Yep. Bayonets down on the corn. All right, so now we're at uh, seven minutes, just under seven minutes here. Um, looks like the Union's kind of committed to this left side right now. What do you? I think it's great. If, if Union's going to... Uh, Union left or right? Union left. Oh, well, no. I disagree with that. They're going to get outshot, outmaneuvered. Everybody's here. I'd recommend get to corn, everybody in corn, and then charge point. Because, I mean, at this point in time, it's desperate time. You need to burn those tickets. You need good charges. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, a good charge on the point might... You might, you know... Thread that needle and get him to breaking as you take it point. Mm -hmm. Everybody's very far ho forward. And, uh, I mean, they might be able to adjust to that, but uh, it's going to be a while till they notice everybody in corn. Right of Blake, everything in front of you. Uh, Union's not seeing that. Right. Left of Blake, on the level. Skirmish out, boys. Skirmish out. Skirmish out. No, it's, Again, it's tough to disengage. It's, it's yeah. you know, it's you're in a fight. You're like, well, I'm in a fight. What am I gonna do? Pull off? You know, it's... Yep, exactly what you said. And especially again, hindsight, they don't see what we see. Yeah, we can see everybody on the field all at once. You know, them, they got they whatever their eyes can see in front of them, with all the people yelling and gunshots and everything else. So it's like it's a real battle. <laughs> one thing I love about war rights and it puts you into it. Oh, absolutely. 
I got to say these lines. Uh, uh, again, I can't say it enough. Union just looks amazing. Oh, they'll, they'll punch holes in you too if you give them a chance. Since, oh yeah. Looks like they're getting ready to do a. Are they juking to the right? Actually, I kind of like that. What do you think about moving yep. juking to the right here into the corner? No. Maybe throw off yep. their defense. I definitely agree with that. Now everybody sees it, though. Yeah, it was a little bit too high up. If that was done a little bit lower, maybe. Don't don't uh, be aggressive, fourth. <laughs> oh, that's fourth New Jersey. I thought that was uh, fourth uh, Georgia. Anyways, yeah. So I guess everything's going good. You got A and V in this little ambush position here, waiting to strike out. Nobody sees it. Well, neither of those game bot, so. Oh, you heard something. Yeah. But uh, what do you think about this Union disposition now, though? This focus but, on the center. I think it's uh, too little too late, unfortunately. Man, it's working. They're getting shot in the butt, but... They're still moving. Yeah. Well, start. Let's see, we got the NYV here crashing into point now. But they're getting hit in their flank, though, is the problem by 11th MS. The whole Union team, really. Oh, why are they turning right? About five seconds. About five seconds. I mean, what Eddie, is, you need to be aggressive. Yeah, I was saying. Go, Eddie, go. If they crash onto the point right now, yep. <laughs> you know, it's it's that's, not a, yep. it's not a great chance, but it's it's that's your only chance, I think now. Yeah, you need to be aggressive right now. You need to hit. Eddie saw it. He's going in. On the point. There, we hear the call. Come on. Come on. Friendly, oh, but here comes Fort George and Hayden. I think that's going to shut the door on him. Yeah. Canada always looks around. He knows. You got Owen coming in, too. Yep. That, uh, I think that closes the door on it. Yeah, I would say that's a GG right there. So, I mean, Union has got two minutes, 20 left. Um, well, At this one point, minute, 30 it's left. Hong Kong's and going. Yeah, I mean, you just need to run, and it's just going to be... Yeah, it's over now. But, uh, yeah. Do not brace, just fucking die. <laughs> press T, press T, press T. I, my biggest thing is I think Union didn't uh, uh, take advantage of that right side on the corn. Union right. And, no, uh, I, I think it worked fairly well for them the one time they did it. Um, yeah. I, I, liked I think if they had more people. More. Yeah, they had more people or you just tried a few more times to keep the tickets a little bit even. Mm. Agreed, uh, agreed. Kind of really especially, like the CSA maneuver on him. No, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead, man. I was just going to say, especially on this left side, you don't have much cover. You just have this uh, snake rail. That's all you got. I mean, just out shoot him in the woods. What happened? Yeah, no, I would agree. And it's, um, well, it's out shoot and out bayonet because I think the CSA actually had a bit of an avenger against them on, the, uh, on these gunfights here. And part of that was just their maneuvering, I think. We were able to get into some good angles. The Union had trouble really uh, guarding their flanks. Get out of my fucking corn! I thought I already told you! He tells him get out of his corn. Get in there, boys! Literally, you have the greatest flanking maneuver on the right and left. It's just slow mo right now. Oh, yeah. Well, that was a fun one. Uh, thanks again. Again to uh, my guest, Mr. Matt. Yeah, thank you. So, appreciate you coming in. Again, uh, check out 13th Georgia, link in the description uh, if you are interested in joining uh, his regiment. And you got to see them in action a little bit today, too. So, good performance there from Mr. Roll, I'd say. 
I'd agree. He did very good. So, anyway, we got one more map for us. Um, I believe it's uh, Cox's Push. So, um, taking a quick pause here and reset. Uh, I'll see you all for that one. Yeah, let me let the casualties go. <laughs> See how bad it was. <laughs> it was, yeah. Wow. It's still... Again, like you said, Kotel, every time it was, uh... It was out shooting. 